tech behemoth Microsoft reported earnings on Thursday. Devices at the company, especially its mobile phone business, seem to be deteriorating sales-wise. But at the same time, sales of the Surface tablets are a bright spot. So joining us now to discuss is Anthony Ha, senior writer at TechCrunch. Anthony, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about the Surface. How well did it do this quarter? What kind of momentum could these devices have going forward? Well, uh, Surface sales are up 11% um, to $223 mm -hmm. million. Dollars. So, I mean, it's still relatively small for a company like Microsoft. But, I mean, compared to pretty much every other number on the device side at Microsoft, it's pretty good news. Yeah, and just to dig into this a bit more, uh, as you mentioned, uh, it's, it's still a small part of the business, but, it, but it's one that's growing and growing pretty robustly. How about the rest of those mobile devices? Uh, what have we been seeing in terms of that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not great. I mean, so Windows' share of mobile overall is less than 1%. Um, and mobile phone sales from Microsoft are down 76%. Uh, device sales overall down 35%. So you can see sort of yeah. the trend lines for everything else are kind of uh, not, not great. So that's basically the one bright spot is, is the Surface tablet. Does that make Surface the bread and butter for Microsoft moving forward? I, obviously, we've got to talk about the cloud here. Right, exactly. I mean, so Microsoft isn't just a device company. It has, you know, um, the cloud business, the office business, and those are really the things that are that are driving revenue right now. But I think that um, the Surface is kind of, you know, Microsoft, I think, doesn't just want to be a software company. And the Surface is one of the ways that it's maybe the main way it's going to be able to do that moving forward. So in light of that, is innovation something that's still continuing to drive Microsoft how does this compare to other rivals like Apple and Samsung? Um, I think that the Surface is definitely like, I mean, as a device, I mean, I think it's, it's very interesting. They, you know, Microsoft last fall announced something called the Surface Studio, which is a combination tablet and PC, and, it, and it's designed for creative professionals. And it seems like it is fairly different from something like the iPad. And so Microsoft is, you know, you know, we can argue about exactly how innovative it is, but Microsoft is doing something different. It's not just copying Apple, and I think that's definitely a very hopeful sign. Yeah, and certainly investors seem to be reacting well to it. We're seeing shares of Microsoft trade higher on Friday morning. Anthony Ha, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having me. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.